Alright, first exam over with. I should take red until I learn that breeze spell, I think. That comes in handy for future exams. Hey you guys, are either of you interested in running for class office? Oh yeah. Like president? I don't think... What do you have to do to run? Not much, you just have to tell the teachers by the end of this week that you want to run. The next week everybody votes. Oh, and you have to have a clean record. No demerits. That rules me out. Unless you know how to get rid of demerits. There must be some way to earn merits and balance your record. Maybe you could ask one of the professors to let you do an extra credit project. You won't catch me asking for extra work. Anyway. There are only two positions for the freshman class. President and treasurer. The upper classes have more because they do more events and stuff. The freshman officers don't do anything? I'm sure they do something, just not as much. Like the junior class is in charge of the prom and that's a big deal. And then the same people who run the prom junior year have to run initiation at the start of the next year because elections haven't been held yet. It's a ton of work. It's much easier for freshmen. You probably just have to go to meetings with the teachers and not a lot. <laughs> so are you interested? I... no one would vote for me. But that's why I'm asking. See, Minnie Cochran is obviously going to win president, so it's not even worth trying for that. But the treasurer position is open. Pastel says Jacob says he thinks he'll win it easy. So I want someone else to win. Anyone else. William isn't running for president in his class again this year, so it's perfect. He can endorse a freshman candidate, and then they're sure to win. I'm not sure that's... Why don't you run? <laughs> No way! Class officers have to have meetings with teachers. I see way too much of them in class already. Speaking of which, we need to pick our classes for the week. Uh, right, so I can't actually run for treasurer this time. Oh, darn it all. Um, maybe I'll just alternate. Red and... Maybe I'll take red the first day and then blue the rest. And then we'll just see. Mm. Or I'll sleep the last day. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. I don't know how much I need to get to get the breeze spell. Oh, I'm only going to get one magic when I take the class. <sighs> Uh-oh. When I get back to my room this afternoon, the others are already there and they don't look happy. What's going on? Horrible Donald left a box of cat poop on our doorstep during class. Oh, that happened today. <laughs> I didn't stop him this time. It was really mean. So there was actually cat poop in there. Or... I thought he said Jersey dung. Well, brother. Any, in either case, you... Where would he get... Where would he get that from? Some of the other students have pets. He must have gotten someone to help. Should we try to find out who? No, this is between him and me. And the professors. He is so going to get it for this. <laughs> You're going to tell on him? He's going too far. He has to stop. It's pretty hard to forgive a joke like that. Going out of his way to get hold of. And then leaving it on the doorstep? That's awful. At least it wasn't on fire. <laughs> yeah, at least. There is that. Failed! Boo! Why am I failing? My stress isn't that high. It's all that cat poop. <laughs> ah, there's the spell I was looking for. Teleport self. Allows the caster to relocate himself to a nearby known location. Huh, I just needed a couple more days was all. Oh well, what can you do? And now I'll sleep. No more stress. Yay! So, are you going to do it? I don't think... Aw, oh, come on. I I'm not the sort of person. <laughs> Cutie, are you going to run for treasurer? <sighs> Have you forgotten about my demerits already? 
I can't. You have to have a clean record, remember? Right, right. I'll just have to look somewhere else then. She leaves the room. Ellen sits on her bed and brushes back her hair. <laughs> Such a strange thing to get so worked up over. Well, she is very competitive. If it really matters so much, she ought to do it herself instead of trying to get so and trying to get everyone else to do it for her. Uh, I suppose. Do you think we Do you think her brother will do what she says? Promote someone just because she wants him to? Probably. She's his baby sister. He looks out for her. He's so sweet. Mm-hmm. Ew, he is, is he? Ellen, have you got a crush on William? What? No! Maybe. Huh. She sighs and flops back onto the bed. Yes? Okay, so last time I said there's nothing wrong with that. I'm still gonna say that. These other ones are terrible. Okay, you like William. So what's the problem? He's cute, he's responsible, he's a good student. He's popular. So? So he could have any girl he wants. And he'd never want a girl like me. Guys want someone pretty who likes makeup and dancing and pouts until she gets her way. Jenny's not even 13 yet, and she's already got boys chasing her. Boys think of me as just a rock with hair, a useless fuzzy lump. <laughs> oh, Ellen. I don't think of you that way. William is nice. He would never. But he would never. Okay, so last time I told you to tell him you'd like him. And that didn't really work. He got all upset. Maybe, why don't you just wait and see? I don't want to say he's wrong for you. The school year's only barely begun. There's a long way to go yet. Anything could happen. So don't give up. Just wait and see. Maybe you'll end up with somebody you weren't expecting to. <laughs> That's all I expected to do. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you run for treasurer like Virginia suggested? If he's helping you with your campaign, you'll get to spend time with him. Hmm. Maybe. That's interesting. Ellen for treasurer. I'd vote for that. Ah! So, are you and William working on your plan to take over the class today? Well, we can't today, exactly. Why not? He's not here. What do you mean he's not here? It's Saturday. The Big Apple Festival is in the next county over. Most of the upperclassmen go there on field trip. It's over an hour away, so they have to leave early. Why didn't we hear about it? Freshmen aren't allowed. It's a privilege. What's an apple festival? <laughs> a harvest fair. Don't you have those where you come from? I still don't understand why Ellen doesn't know about this. I don't know. They get a big, old-fashioned cider press set up on the green so everybody can watch the apples being crushed, and they sell jugs of it. There's a lot... There's lots of food. Apple donuts, apple sausages, apple upside-down cake, caramel apples, squash apple soup... Well, it's not all apples. Big bake sale, craft sale, art contest, and there's fiddlers in the day and then a contra dance in the evening. From the look on Ellen's face, she has no idea what a contra dance is, but she's not going to ask. So, the seniors are going off to a dance without us. Well, it doesn't matter. What should I do today? Um, Let's go get our glasses ourselves. What should I do at the mall today? I should go to the magic store. This branch of the mall looks like a dead end. There's only one shop front and it's blacked out with a coming soon sign on the door. But as I get closer, a patch of wall blurs and shimmers to reveal a second door marked with a star. Marvelous magical accoutrements. That's what I wanted. Glasses. Adding an air of sophistication as well as making it easier to read the fine print of old and faded magical tomes. Smart plus five. Thank you. Yes, I will put it on when I get back. 
Mm. I don't think I'll get the tiara this time. That would, that would just make me sad. I was a princess once. Oh, a fairy godmother wand. Gives me all magic plus cute five. Um, I can't buy it yet. Uh, okay, so that's good to know. What is it? Just a regular wand. Okay, it doesn't give me any cute and less of the magics. Nope. $120 for fairy wings? These sparkly see-through wings attach to a robe and look almost as good as the real thing, but will not allow you to fly. Mm, gives me plus 10 to cute. Uh, okay. Well, maybe we'll save it for the star wand. And if we have enough money somehow, we'll try getting the fairy wings. <laughs> sure, we'll try that. I'm done. I finish my shopping and join my fellow students to return to Iris Academy. And what now? After dinner, I'm walking back to my room with Ellen and Virginia when I notice a small box sitting in front of the door. Oh, right. Another box? Oh, not again. She pulls back a foot to kick the offending object and pauses. Hey, cutie, this one's for you. Me? I peer down at the box. Sure enough, it says, Too Cutie in flowing letters. Nothing about who sent it. Is this another one of Donald's tricks? Why would he send it to me? No, this is Damien. <laughs> well, I'm curious. What did he get me? <laughs> I don't know why anyone would send me a present. But I don't know why anyone would send me a prank, either. Let's see what it is. I pick it up. Too heavy for clothing. It opens up here. It's... Oh! It's a pie! Oh, a pie! Yay! Cool! A golden flaky paste... <laughs> Alan, why is your face like... Oh! A pie? What's a pie? <laughs> a golden flaky pastry lattice covers a filling of spice fruit. Probably apple. But how did it get here? Some upperclassman must have brought it from the festival, I guess. Ooh, maybe it's from William. Why would he be sending Cutie a pie? <laughs> what, our Cutie isn't good enough to send a pie to? Ellen looks away. Oops. Virginia doesn't know about Ellen's crush, crush on William, does she? I hope not, because that would have been mean. He would probably have left a note if it were him. Maybe it was Isabel taking pity on us poor freshmen. <laughs> Do we have a fridge or anything? Nope, you're just going to have to eat it. You can't eat a whole pie. Eat the whole pie. Mom. Well, Ellen, you looked shocked about pie, so why don't we share it? Of course not. We'll share. Let's go back to the cafeteria and find some plates and forks. There we go. That's better. Um, hello? Woo! I'm not sure. I don't know if I like apple pie. I've never eaten it. I knew it from that face. What? How can you have never had apple pie? That's like a requirement of American culture. <laughs> True. Aren't you supposed to be from which culture? I'm American first. I grew up here just as much as you guys did, you know. Anyway, if you aren't sure, this is the perfect time to try some, right? If you don't like it, Virginia will eat your share. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be happy about it. You bet! We split the pie amongst us, and it is delicious. Hmm. Awesome. That was cool. Diary. Prior knowledge helps. Elections. We'll be having elections for freshman class president and treasurer next week. Virginia thinks she can get William to back a candidate for treasurer, and that will help them win. <clears throat> Excuse me? She wants one of us to run. We have to decide by Friday. I'm not currently eligible because of my demerits. Nasty prank. Donald left an unpleasant surprise on the doorstep of our room while we were all away at classes. Virginia is really mad. If things keep going like this, he might end up expelled. I hope not. Ellen for treasurer. Ellen has a huge crush on Virginia's brother William, but she's convinced it's hopeless. I convinced her to run for class treasurer so she has an excuse to hang out with him. <laughs> oh dear. 
Cider Day. The upperclassmen are away at an apple festival this weekend. Oh, I went to the mall. I need to put my glasses on. Free pie. Someone left me a surprise apple pie. I shared it with my roommates. And it was delish. Let's put on our glasses. Ah, much better. That helped our smart go up a little bit. Next week. I awaken on Monday to a sharp rap on the door. Oh, it's Grappy. I remember when he knocked when I was running. He's like, Miss B2D, please. Uh, Miss Middleton, if you please. Ooh. Started. El started? Startled, Ellen hurries to the door. I can hear voices outside while I finish getting dressed. Ellen, of course, and someone more baritone. What's going on? Is she in trouble? Surely not Ellen. <laughs> a few minutes later, she returns to the room, clutching a large folder stuffed with papers. What was that about? Nothing. Just election stuff. So you are running. Oh, did we forget to tell you that? She slaps Ellen on the back. She's my girl. It's nothing. I won't win. And so modest, too. Anyway, we have to get ready for class. <laughs> She's right. We need to decide on our schedules for the week. What should I do this week? We've got no stress, so... Oh, right. Red first. Then blue. Okay. Done. I wonder if you can get to 100 in blue. Three. Much better. Breeze. Okay, I don't have to take red anymore. Good stuff. Moves air around the caster's current square, creating a gentle breeze. Nice one. Early in the morning, there's a rustle at the door. Whoop. Ellen jumps out of bed as if she'd been waiting for that. More election things? She returns, holding some large sheets of... No, those are posters. And a box on top of them. What's that? It's campaign stuff. Let me see. Inside the box is a pile of purple construction paper, cut into shapes, and a little plastic container full of straight pins. I pick up one of the shapes and turn it around. It's a horse pulling a carriage. Written on it in shining silver ink are the words Ellen Middleton for treasurer. Oh, that's cute. Better than my lady lampshade head one. The posters are more of the same. Horses and carriages and dollar signs and treasure chests. Ellen Middleton, the dependable draft horse. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I need to... Oh, sorry. I need to put these posters up, and I'm supposed to hand out these badges. We'll help, won't we, cutie? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Really? Thanks. Great. I'll take the posters, and you guys take the badges. But there's only six posters, and tons of these little paper things. The posters need to go up high, and I have longer arms. And Ellen's the candidate, so she has to hand those out in person. But, see ya! Ellen. I mean, Ellen. Ellen, you're fine. Virginia! She takes the posters and hurries off before anyone can argue with her. She just wants the easy job. You don't have to stay. Oh no, Ellen. No, I said I'd help and I will. Come on. <laughs> Didn't mean it like that, Ellen. Ellen and I spend the next hour catching passerby. Introducing Ellen as a candidate and giving them paper badges to pin to their robes. I'm sure it's a good way to get her name out there, but it's tiring and boring. Uh, five. Stress. Stressed. So stressed, I only learned one blue. <laughs> On Wednesday morning, campaigning is in full swing. All the candidates, not just in my year, but the upperclassmen too, have taken up positions on the main quad, calling out to everyone who passes and handing them colorful bits of paper. It's loud and crowded and confusing. Some of the older candidates are spraying magic sparkles over their heads to try and, ma to try and draw more attention to themselves, which just makes it worse. Angela for president! Kerrigan for secretary! Vote for Jacob! I can see Ellen in the distance looking slightly overwhelmed while William beside her dutifully bellows in her service. I'm buffeted from place to place and decorated with pins and ribbons, mostly from people I don't even know in elections I'm not eligible to vote in. Class starts to sound like a welcome relief. 
Wow. Guess that's what happens when you don't run. Just get bombarded with pins and sparkly stuff. It's <laughs> funny. Woo! Yeah, now you learn blue magic when you don't need to anymore. Well, I guess you do need to for future tests. Yay! 40. Disruption. Interrupts the casting of a spell, causing it to fizzle. Fizzle, fizzle. After activities on Friday, each class has a scheduled time to come to the gym, where the officer candidates will make their final speeches before elections. Since we can't vote in the senior election, there's no reason for us to have to listen to their speeches or vice versa. The freshman slot is the last one in the day. First up are the candidates for freshman class president. Minnie Cochran climbs onto the stage looking bright-eyed and enthusiastic and says a bunch of stuff about offering a helping hand to other students. Everyone applauds. Then Suki Sato wanders up and starts talking about how she found a caterpillar once that turned into a lizard instead of a moth or something like that. It's a little hard to follow. It's so interesting. Oh, and apparently the spirits told her to run for president. Or some spirits? She's not sure which, which ones. Everyone applauds, but not as loudly. After that come the presentations for treasure. Go Ellen! Jacob Blazing, the Blazing Fire, struts up and gives a very brief speech about how money is obviously in safe hands with him. And he knows how to spend it, too. Everyone claps and some guy even hoots in approval. Pfft. Now it's Alan's turn. She does a better job with the speech than I would have expected, expe considering how nervous she was earlier. William probably helped her write it. Everyone claps, and Virginia and I howl loudly for her. Yow, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Yay, Ellen. At last, it's time for the actual voting. Everyone lines up single file in the hallway, leading to one of the classrooms. One at a time, we go inside to cast our votes. Each student is given a pencil and two pieces of paper containing the list of names for each office. You circle the name you want to vote for, then drop the paper into a box. For president, I'll vote for... Eh, I'm still kind of mad at Minnie for letting the cat out of the bag last time when I played. Even though I know she's going to win anyway, but... As a matter of principle, I will vote for Suki. And for treasure, I will vote for Ellen, of course. Right, that's that. After all the votes are counted, we assemble again in the gym for the results. The position of freshman class treasurer will be held by... Ellen Middleton! She did it! And I'm proud to announce that this year's freshman class president will be... Minnie Cochran! I'd like to thank you all for your hard work this week. You students are what make Iris Academy truly great. The teachers will be seeking out the newly elected officers later today to discuss their positions. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Yay. I stir from my sleep. What's going on? I heard a noise. Is Virginia babbling again? <laughs> Someone's moving around. Ellen? What's she doing up this early? Oh, right, she's treasurous, and now she's got to get up super early to do the mail. <laughs> Oops, I forgot about that, Ellen. I hope you're okay with getting up that early. Gathering the skirts of her robe, she tiptoes out of the room. Weird, but I'm too sleepy to follow. Oh, Ellen. When Virginia and I get up in the morning, our allowances are here, but Ellen still isn't. Do you know what's up with Ellen? She snuck out of this room really early this morning. Probably just treasurer stuff. Mm -hmm. At the crack of dawn on a Saturday? Mm -hmm. Why do you think I didn't want the job? Hmm. So what should I do today? Studi. But... When that whole thing happens with the Manus... Uh, I hope Ellen doesn't end up married to Professor Grabner by accident. That would be terrible. <laughs> oh, she's smarter than me. She probably doesn't run in there like an idiot. <laughs> At least I hope not. When did we get married again? I can't remember. Uh, I'll have to look that up. It's Sunday and the sports club is having a meeting. Or rather, a game. Virginia's got the ball and is dribbling it across the floor towards Ellen at the goal. Keo cuts in to try and steal, but Virginia sidesteps. A twist, a lunge, a swift kick, and the ball flies through the air. <laughs> oh, Jacob. What are you guys doing? 
Ellen's head whips around to track the voice of her recent rival, and the ball slips past her and into the goal zone. Whoa, that didn't happen last time. Whoa. With a grimace, she goes to pick it up. This is a sports club meeting. What are you doing here? Maybe I want to play. I'm a fit guy, right? Fine, whatever. All right. He closes his eyes briefly and a wave of green magic sweeps over him. Hey, you can't do that. Do what? No magic allowed. What are you talking about? We're wizards. This is real sports, not bounders. What's going on? <laughs> this one says you guys are refusing to use magic. What's the point of that? This one? Well, that's how we've been doing it in Sports Club. That's just wrong. It's unnatural. You're letting your talent go to waste. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. You want to show off your skills, don't you? Who's for flying basketball? No, there is no magic allowed in Sports Club. Maybe we should take a vote on it. You're with me, right, Kyo? Yeah. Traitor! Cutie. No magic allowed. I don't think it's a good idea. We're only freshmen, but we've got players from all four years, and we all know completely different spells. I couldn't play flying basketball. I can't fly. There, see? Without magic, it's just kitty games. Why should we have to hold back from the best we can do? Yeah, we should be real. Real losers? <laughs> Virginia! Um... Because it's the rules. People without magic still have to hold back. You don't pick up the ball in soccer. You don't beat up the other team to stop them from reaching the goal. You do your best within the rules. That's good sportsmanship. <laughs> Maybe we could have a special game sometime with spells allowed. But only certain spells, so it's fair. Eh, uh, I guess. Ellen looks at Jacob. Do you still want to play? Call me when you play a real game. He leaves. Why are boys so rude? William isn't. Okay, boys accept William. Come on, let's get back to the game. Indeed. Alright, let's read our diary. It's weird that Ellen let the ball go by her this time. Hmm. Ellen's campaign. Someone came by our room this morning to deliver papers for Ellen's campaign for treasurer. <clears throat> Badges and handshakes. I helped Ellen distribute some of her campaign materials this morning. Campaign madness. The election is at a fever pitch today with everyone trying to win by outshouting everyone else. What a mess. Election results. The elections were held today. Minnie Cochran is class president, and Ellen Middleton is now treasurer. And Jacob intrudes. Jacob burst into the sports club meeting today to try and tell us we should be playing games using magic instead of just normal sports. Virginia was not happy. Nobody was. 